So today I'm going to share with you a few fall thrifted pieces and of course outfit inspirations for each piece. I, um, I have a new Instagram that's dedicated to vintage pieces or thrifted pieces that I am going to sell. And as you know, I love my clothing. I have put a lot of heart and soul into gathering my clothing. My closet is something that is truly special to me. So um, if you've ever seen anything that I talked about on here, any piece that stands out to you and speaks to you that you would like to purchase, you may have a chance to do so on my Depop or my Poshmark um, app. I'll be sure to add all the information in the description area below. I also, um, I also started a new Instagram for the clothes that I intend on selling and the username is Isabel's Vintage. So if you want to see what's up for sale, if you want to keep up with daily inspirations regarding style, um, you can check out my Instagram. Again, that's Isabel's Vintage. And, um, and today we're going to talk about a few pieces that are up for sale. Not everything that I'm going to share in this video is up for sale just yet because I just don't have the heart yet to part with everything, um, but I hope to sell um, a lot of my stuff that I love so much. So if you were to purchase it, you'll be getting such beautiful energy in that piece because I put a lot of love into my clothing. Anyhow, today I'm discussing sweaters, mainly for the most part, because we are in sweater weather. We are in the fall, and though the weather has been particularly spring-like recently um it's still fall so i'm still going to talk about sweatshirts today's actually uh raining in new york city i went for a run this morning in the rain and it was so delicious um which is why my hair is just kind of like this uh pushed back because i wet my hair got sweaty and i didn't um i didn't wash it when i got home i just put some dry shampoo on my bangs for the video um, anyhow, you know what? I can start with what I'm wearing now because this is also thrifted, of course, and it's just so beautiful. This top, this print is gorgeous. This color scheme is such a beautiful combo. Um, so this shirt that I'm wearing now, we could just start right away, is a blouse by a brand called Cafe. And the only way I know that is because right there it says Cafe. Um, there's no accent over the E, but I'm guessing it's cafe. I cut the top off, um, which is right here. I cut the collar off and I cut the top of the, um, of the button down because I wanted this look. I wanted to expose my, uh, my shoulders. So I cut it and then I took it to my tailor to have him um, just stitch around the edges. I cut all of the edges. I cut the cuffs and at the hem of the shirt, I cut the edges as well. I had my tailor uh, just stitch a really thin, fine stitch all around to secure that the shirt doesn't fall apart. Um, this might be up for sale, I'm not sure just yet. It's just so gorgeous and big and it fits me beautifully. It looks gorgeous against my skin. Um, so this is by a brand named Gantz and the size was probably like extra large or 2XL. As you can tell, it's a really large shirt. But it's, it was perfect for the way that I envisioned wearing it, which is this way and as a dress over the summer and spring. Um, anyhow, it's just a beautiful pattern with blue and beige, um, a bit of nude and red and green. And those colors are beautiful. They work beautifully together. And I also do love the geometric shapes throughout the blouse. Um, it can, you know, these shapes are associated with really vintage 90s, early 90s, early 80s style. But for me, it's very modern and chic. Um, it's just also nicely put together that it just looks timeless in my opinion. But then again, everything that I, I share, everything I talk about on my channel is to me timeless, which is why I buy the things that I buy. I don't intend on buying things for the moment because, um, I don't know, it's just not, I don't know, it's not sustainable to me or practical. And so I buy things that I intend on wearing forever until now. The things that I'm going to share, I'm no longer going to have them. <laughs> so they're not forever. But anyway, uh, moving forward, uh, the skirt that I'm wearing is a long stretchy corduroy skirt. And the belt is a braided brown leather belt, also thrifted. The skirt is great because it's really stretchy. So it's very comfortable and also it shows off my gorgeous curves. Um, so if you like to show off your curves or your figure in general, this skirt is for you it's gorgeous it's stretchy and i'm not sure i'm gonna get rid of it just yet so we'll see what's on we'll see what's on my instagram by the time i post this video 
So the first sweater we're going to talk about is this gorgeous uh, teal sweater with a really pretty romantic rippling effect in the front. It has long bell sleeves. Um, the sleeves pass the hands, which I think is such a casual look. I love it. Um, the It's a bit 16% wool. The rest is acrylic and nylon, so it's very soft and very warm at the same time. Um, the size is an M, but it fits perfectly. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't feel like an M or an L. It just kind of feels perfect for my figure and my body. Um, anyhow, when I first saw this sweater, I imagined it with a, um, a little mini dress, like a slinky little silk um, mini dress, just thrown over, really casual and romantic-like. I think that the rippling effect in the front always gives me like a Juliet romantic um, feeling, and throwing it over a mini dress will give the sexy little dress a romantic touch. But of course, I do love to wear white denim in the winter, so I imagined it with white denim jeans and white denim skirt, casually thrown over, you know, effortlessly romantic and, and sexy at the same time. So next up, we have this beauty that just says holidays and warmth. Um, what caught my attention was the flower detail across the front and the back. I've said it a million times, if there's a print that's only in the front, I don't know. I don't. I don't love those because the more richer looking detail to me is the detail that goes that wraps around the sweater or the top. Um, anyhow, the flower detail caught my attention. It looks so beautiful and handmade. And um, I don't know if it's actually handmade. It doesn't say. Um, all it says on here is 100% wool, dry clean and the rest of the information, like size M and all that. Um, anyhow, this is beautiful and perfect for the, of course, the holiday season that's approaching, um, but it's just perfect all year, well, all winter long. So I would pair this sweater with, a, with my red silk thrifted slip dress. There's many ways to wear this sweater, but you know, you have denim, you have corduroy, you have white denim, which is another way to bring it into the, the holiday season in December, um, but a lot of people won't think to throw it over a slip dress and that's why I wanted to focus on that outfit for this video. Um, anyhow, it has silver buttons going down the front which also adds to a nice holiday look. It gives a nice little shine and sparkle and it happens to be 100% wool, dry clean only and, um, and it's a size M. So I don't know if I'll be selling this one right away but it will be up for sale eventually so look out for it. It is wool, it is thick and it is very warm. I actually washed it in my, um, in a washing machine because I didn't, um, you know, like I mentioned in my last video or a few videos back, I cannot afford a dry cleaning bill. And it's not even about affording it. It's just, I don't want to spend that money on dry cleaning, um, all the time when it doesn't even smell great. You ever took something to the dry cleaner and it smells still like the thrift store? I needed that smell to get out of the of the uh, of the piece, and so I washed a bunch of my wool, and it turned out to be fine. It didn't harm the clothes at all. Now I'm not suggesting that you do that. I'm just saying that that's what I do. Um, anyhow, so this is a gorgeous sweater for the uh, for the holiday, especially, but not just for the holiday, and um, and I love it. So since I just left off on the holiday, I'm going to pull up this gorgeous divine beauty. Um, I don't know if anyone here uh, watching my videos is a fan of, um, what is it? Uh, the Goldbergs, but that's one of my favorite shows. I love that show so much and I love the mother. This is the kind of sweater that she wears. I think it takes place in like the early 80s or early 90s or mid 80s. Anyhow, um, <laughs> This is the kind of style that she carries throughout the entire um, throughout the entire show, because that's the era she lives in. Anyhow, when I spotted this one at the Goodwill, no, this one is from the Salvation Army actually. So I spotted this one in the Salvation Army, and I immediately thought of Beverly Goldberg. I thought this is something that she would beat me up for. Um, anyhow, it's blue. It's beautiful. It has a sort of floral detail in the front. It has um, pearls and. Uh, beads and a bit of um, what is this called? I forgot what this is called. And a bit of sequins, which just gives it a nice party look. I will wear this one here with my white denim jeans because of the white pearls. It just looks so, so like celebratory together. Or with my white denim mini skirt. But what I would like to do is tuck it in because it's not too thick. I can tuck it in. So I'll tuck it into my um, denim white mini skirt and put on a pair of um, really cool boots and just head out the door 
you know, represent for the new year, have my outfit showing that I'm here to welcome the new year and to like just live it up, you know? You just wanna be happy, you wanna do the best that you can do, you want to look forward to the new year. A lot of people are saddened by the new year and that breaks my heart. You should just welcome it with open arms. Um, anyhow, so the detail in this one is only in the front, it's not in the back, which works out well because, I don't know, it's really sparkly, so I, I think it's good to have the focus on the front. Um, anyhow, it's a gorgeous top with a bit of puff sleeve detail, so it's not over the top. It did come with um, detachable uh, detachable shoulder pads, but, um, but I got rid of those, and it still leaves you this really pretty puffy shoulder. It's pretty warm in that sense when it comes to, you know, memories of the good old days. Um, it's not like something to laugh at. Like, you know, you see someone with puffy shoulders, and you immediately remember when your mom wore puffy shoulders, or you wore puffy shoulders as a kid, and you, it inspires a laugh. For me, this just inspires like a warm smile because like I said, it's not over the top. It's, it's perfect. So this one I will say is my favorite of all and I am not parting ways with it just yet. So you will not see it on my Instagram just yet. Um, what drew me to this one was the print. The print looks very old school, very vintage, like something your brother would wear to picture day or something. But it's for a girl, it has a cut that's for like feminine cut. So I got it from the, the women's department. It's a woman's top. The brand is falling apart, but it's Cacharel or something. Cacharel, Cacharel. Um, and it's, it's a, it says, it says two and 10, and I'm not sure what those numbers stand for. Um, it is very small, it fits me really nicely and fitted. Um, it does have a beautiful puffy shoulder detail, which I love, but it's not over the top puffy, it's just perfect puffy. And it has a cinched waist, which I do love. And it's very thin, though it's, um, I do believe it's wool. Is it wool? Let's see, I cannot remember. Okay, so there's no tag inside to tell me if it's wool or not but it's definitely good quality. It's tough, but not too thick. So you can tuck this into your skirt. I'll be tucking this into a denim mini skirt and wearing it with boots. Very flattering um, to the figure. You know, when I tuck anything in, you're then able to see my curves, which I love. And so, um, so it's just gonna be a really pretty flattering look. Anyhow, the details are gorgeous. The speckled, um, the speckled colors throughout the sweater is also beautiful. The same design is in the back and we both know how much I appreciate that by now. Um, what drew my attention here was the print and the speckled, um, the speckled design all over the sweater. I love speckled detail. My husband has a few beanies that are speckled. I have a few t-shirts that are speckled. I just think it's, it's cool because it adds a casual touch to your, to your clothing. Something about speckled, a speckled look just makes the item look casual and day to day. Anyhow, the, uh, the speckle detail is orange, yellow, and blue, which is gorgeous. I love the colored speckle. It's just a beautiful look. It's very vintage, it's very warm, and it's very fall. So the next sweater that I'm gonna show you is this one here, and I'm holding it by hand because I don't think that it's meant to be hung up. You ever been to a thrift store and you see something that is hung up and you know that it's being ruined by being hung up? it's being stretched out by being hung up. Um, I believe that this is one of those uh, pieces that should not be hung up because it would just stretch it out. So when I spotted this one at the Salvation Army, I took it off the hanger so fast. Um, anyhow, this is a beautiful, very, very warm, I guess you can say off-white or cream, um, cream colored sweater with a beautiful rainbow heart detail in the center. So this is great because it's perfect for the, the winter time. I wouldn't say the fall because this is way too thick for the fall. Um, it's perfect for the winter time and it's also perfect for the holidays and Valentine's Day coming up. Um, this is hand handmade um, and it is a size, oh it doesn't say the size, but I would say that this is a small um, but a loose fitting small just because of the way it fits me. So it's a small but it has a lot of space so it will fit you if you're a large. But um, the waist is is uh, is sewed so tightly that it just rests there, and I love that. I love when the waist kind of sits there perfectly at your waist, and the rest of the the sweater just is. It just flows with your body. Um, anyhow, 
So I would pair this with Levi's that I actually just thrifted. I thrifted two pair of Levi's and um, they look, this sweater goes really nicely with both pairs. So I don't know, I think that pairing this with Levi's give it a really casual look. But of course, this and a mini skirt will look so cool. Um, again, this is just your regular handcrafted uh, sweater. It doesn't have much detail on there, but it's beautiful and it looks like new. I doubt that it's ever been worn. It has a really gorgeous, handmade new look um very very thick so keep that in mind if you intend on purchasing this one um yes this one will be up for purchase in my instagram very soon if it's not up by the time the video is up um yeah so that's a heart sweater gorgeous with many different looks and i hope you like it enough to check out my instagram Anyhow, I think that's going to be it for today. I have a lot more pieces that I wanted to share with you. I have so many new pieces, beautiful suede leather skirts. Um, I guess I'll hold those off for the next video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, please check out my Instagram. Please check out my Depop and my Poshmark if you're interested in making any purchases from my closet. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And I'll be seeing you very soon in my next video.